Hey students, this is episode 10 of Hey Students. I can't believe we've already made 10 episodes. Um, this is a fun one. I was just out in my garden and picked up some yummy jalapenos. Mm, they're so cute and little and yummy. I'm so excited. Anyway, in this episode, we're gonna do some fun stuff. I go to Montana for a polka gig and uh, we're gonna eat some sushi and yeah, just do some other stuff. So uh, let's get going. Is it weird that I'm a grown man and I love cereal <laughs> for like any meal? <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'll eat cereal like anytime, almost any kind of cereal. This is one of my favorites, just regular Brand X cornflakes. I like corn nuts, I like Wheaties, I like all the sugary cereals, I love Cheerios. I think I like all cereal. Uh, I feel like I haven't grown up yet. Mmm, cereal good. Hey guys, so I'm in Montana. I got hired as a tuba player to play polka music for an Oktoberfest. This is one of my best friends. This is Jory Woodis. Hey. <laughs> He's a clarinet player, saxophone player. He lives in New Orleans. We used to live together when we were in college and after college. He is one of my favorite people. Well, that goes two ways. One fun thing about being a musician is making friends with people and like, it's just fun playing together. <laughs> I mean, you connect with that person in a way that's different than the way you would connect with a normal friend. You know? Yeah. You gotta make this cool art together in real time and listen to each other and respond to each other and play off each other. I mean, it's just no other way to communicate. Cool, I would love it. Good buddy Osti Robinson on the trumpet. The trumpet. He's a cool dude. We used to. He was a roommate of mine a long time ago when he was in college and I had just started teaching. It's a good dude. Thanks. <laughs> Look at my hat. <laughs> oh, this is fun. wife and I are gonna get some sushi tonight. This sushiya in Orem is the first place that I ever had yummy sushi. I had had sushi before this, but this is the first place that had good sushi. I love the sushi here. There are places that have yummier sushi, but this place is pretty well priced and we love it. Whenever we get sushi, we always come here. I need to admit that I don't know a ton about sushi. I know that this is wasabi, and it's super strong, and I don't really like it. This is pickled ginger. I think it's yummy. I think you're supposed to use it in between different sushi rolls so you can cleanse your palate. That's what I think you're supposed to do, but I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> so we're getting the all you can eat. Here's our first sushis. We got the spicy tuna, the California, and the New Orleans. So good. Let me do a California real quick. I'm just gonna use my hands because I'm a caveman. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. Now we're gonna do the spicy tuna. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. This one's the New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, so this is the Las Vegas roll, and this is a tempura veggie roll. Mmm. So the Las Vegas, let's do this one. This one's tempura, so it's cooked. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, this is the tempura veggie. <laughs> You guys gotta try this. Okay, here we go. I've never tried this one before. Mm. Mm. 
This is called the salmon rub. Here we go. Ooh, it's salty. I like it. I love when they have cream cheese in it and it's tempura, which is when they're like, like fried. So yummy. I love sushi so much, guys. So good. All right, students, that's it. That's episode 10 of Hey Students, we did it. 10 episodes, doesn't seem like very many. <laughs> I wanted to give you a little advice. This is gonna make me sad because I feel like you're just gonna ignore this advice. And that's okay, I guess. Because when I was your age, I would have ignored this too. I would have been like, okay, whatever, you're old. First off, our baby is at that stage where she has a really hard time sleeping at night for some reason. She sleeps all day. And then right when we're trying to go to bed, she's like, boing, I'm awake now and grumpy. And it's really hard. It takes a lot of energy for my wife and I to get her to fall asleep at night. And then she'll wake up. The past few nights she woke up at like two or three and it's just like, boing, I'm awake now. Um, this morning she woke up at three, had some food and then wouldn't fall back asleep. And so I stayed up and I held the baby. It was really sweet and tender, but I'm pretty tired. <laughs> so I've been up since 3.30 today. So I guess I'm just gonna be up all day. And it made me think about how important sleep is. Sleep is really, really important, especially for children and teenagers and people like you guys who are becoming teenagers. When I was in my master's degree at BYU, we read article after article about how important it is for your brain development to get enough sleep. We're talking like eight or nine hours a night um, in order to have a healthy brain. It's just important because your brains, especially at your age, are growing so fast and there's so much going on in your, in your brain. You gotta sleep. <laughs> And it's difficult because at your age, your body starts to want to stay up later and sleep in more. And that's natural. Like almost all teenagers go through that, myself included. I remember being a teenager and even a young adult staying up to like five in the morning and it was stupid. Why did I do that? And it's just not smart. Like it's so easy now just to stay up playing video games and, and stay up really late and then sleep in until noon or whatever, or later. It's easy to do that, but it's just not good for you. If you care at all about your mental and emotional health, get the rest that you need. It's just so important to go to, go to bed early enough so that you can get eight or nine hours of sleep and wake up in time to go to school and be refreshed. And this is sad because I bet all of you are going to ignore this advice because that is not fun advice. <laughs> it's not fun to go to bed at nine or 10 o'clock at night and get enough sleep so that you can function. But I just wish you would take this advice <laughs> or at least try it for like a month or two. Just like try going to bed on time and not playing on your phones or Chromebooks or whatever. Maybe reading a book, but like not staying up late looking at a screen, watching TV just because it's, it's just not good for your, your mental and, and emotional health to, to be functioning on so little sleep. And it's not good for me either, but luckily, I mean, as an adult, we can survive because we've already done a lot of the growing that you guys are doing. But like at your age especially, please get some sleep. <laughs> and uh, I, you're probably gonna ignore this and that's okay, but just take it from someone who didn't get any sleep today, and I wish I had more. Anyway, this has been a fun 10 episodes. I'm excited for another 10 episodes hanging out. I have some fun ideas. That's episode 10. I hope you guys have a good week. I'll catch you on the flippity flip. I love sushi so much.